everyone in this video as we are going through the details on how to configure the generative answers in the topic as we have seen in the previous video where we have configured the knowledge base of the two type one was the document file based another was the dataverse we configured it and we created one of the topic case related queries where it has queried any questions when i ask related to the cases so here i'm going to explain more about it little bit so with another type of database which is data source which is uh, if you go to the data source another source is the public website so i will be referring the public website in this video but before i configure that uh, we can refer this site for the details on how to configure the pub generative answers in the topic so if uh, generative answers uh, can be given as a fallback so basically what will happen any queries when we ask if does not goes to the any topic it will go to the fallback and then it will go to the conversation boosting and here already i have explained how it handles the unknown content here right so it goes there then the generative answers you can work from external sources external sources where the being searches will happen and the custom so being such as we, we can configure it so those things we can do that one next is the internal sources where we have the data if you configure this uh, data source we are having the classic data right where we connect to the different data sources like the public websites and then Azure open ai those are the internal uh, data sources where from where from where we can generate the responses and we upload the documents we connect to sharepoints all those are microsoft uh, infra uh, from where the documents or the sources will be stored and we will be connecting them to generate the answers the one of the important table about uh, this one is this table where if you are using what type of data source or knowledge source then what is the limitations on that and if required any authentication since in the last video i referred the knowledge source on the dataverse so it requires authentication here it requires the uh, authentication with microsoft Entry id so if if you see here in the uh, copilot i have to make the authentication with here microsoft id here right so it has make the authentication that is why i was able to get the answers from here so if you are if it is having document a public website it does not require authentications so you have to you can refer this uh, this uh, table and for the limitations and then for the authentication and other details so uh with that i'm going to show you the demo on how to configure the knowledge base for the public website and make the question on that before that let me restart i do not have knowledge base for the uh, public website here right it is not configured yet if i ask anything uh, related to some uh, information which is i'm going to use the public website so this is one of my blog where this is it is accessible publicly and if i ask anything from this one it will not able to respond because that is not referred here as a knowledge source so i'll ask like what is append and append to privilege is dynamic 65 now you will see uh, it might not generate the response so basically it will fall it will go to the conversation boosting this topic and yeah it came it generate and then it could not find any response here so it will return i could not find the source so to get the output what we can do we can add this knowledge source so here i will select the public website and add this url here and add it like this you can add four different public website urls as you can see here from this table it explained four urls you can add and it searches the queries on the bing how it does so like that it uh, does the queries on the inputs so i'm just i, ha I have added one of these uh, site URL here. I will add to this knowledge source, and it is added and it is ready to use. So uh, what I'll do, I'll just refresh it. Okay. Now I'll ask same questions. What is a pain and pain to privilege in Dynamics 365?
now you can see it has given the responses from this and if i open this link you will see it will open the link of one of my page which i have designed on my blog this is my blog url and it has it has one of the page which i have where i'm explaining what is append append to privilege so it has referred for my knowledge source also if you want to configure the topic which only executes any query which is i'm asking with the uh uh, dot little boy or the some particular dynamics 65 topic that we can configure so i will configure configure one of the topic for the same the get from the blank here and add the like description handle the any query comes or dynamics 65 or D365. Okay. This is very simple one, but you can elaborate and you can give the de description in the more details. And then I will use this advanced generative answer here and then input of with the query, which will go to the generative answer. It will be the user, which uh, user input text, what they have searched. So system.activities.text and then responses i should be getting from the which source so I, so I should be getting from the knowledge source which is on my only this particular website the uh, my blog i will add that one and also in the below i want to send the message i will send it and storing only the text and the variable which I'll, which uh, which will store my response i will create it which i'll rename rename it to rename it to uh, uh it is a uh, d365 uh, gen ai response okay a, sc a scope of this video is the topic because i do not want to access outside okay so it is done so if you explore that now you can see i have here at the variable store i can send the message to the in uh, to this uh, to the user here directly but if you uncheck it and then if you you can add the another separate message if you want to design your message then you can we can design the message from our own and you can uncheck that so i have i uh, from this data source i have uncheck that send message but i have created another action another node to send the message to the user in the in the message box and here we have seen like how to design it so if you want in the format particular one you can design it and then once it is done i will just close this topic so topic management and and the current topic so save it so we have designed this topic and let me rename this one something uh, public website uh, d365 query okay i have saved okay then i will refresh this test area of the copilot and then i will ask some question what is append and append to privilege in the 365 dynamic 365 so it has generated the responses from that so I hope now you understood how to configure the uh, knowledge base on the public website and access it into the copilot and uh, design it. And uh, I, I hope you learned something from this video and thank you for watching this video guys.